to my channel. Thank you so much to my new subscribers for following along with me. And I just wanted to check in with everyone this week. Um, there's been so much happening in the world and I just keep hearing in my spirit to discern the seasons. And so I thought it would be important to share with you some of the things that I do to be sensitive to hear and know when the spirit is talking to me um so i thought i'd just share with you some of the things that i do which might seem pretty basic um as far as what i do to hear from god to be aligned with god and what i feel the spirit is saying and discerning the seasons is really important we know that everything has a season that's how god works and it reminds us that many times in the bible as believers and so i think getting into your prayer closet is really really important about what god is saying to you what you can do in the meantime to prepare for what he's placed on your heart to do for what you maybe have had prophetic words spoken over you and also just about the direction that you should be going in this next season there's been so much transition happening between pandemic and getting out of pandemic and wars and um, whatever might be happening for you in your personal life and so I just wanted to really get on here and encourage you to seek God and to be sensitive to the spirit and how does that look for you I've grown in the Lord and for me I have a knowing when I feel God is speaking to me about certain things, especially something like buying a home in San Diego. So that's kind of one of the, I guess you could say, um, things that I'm in right now and waiting to hear from God on. And um, I know he told me to sell my house and to move back here and he's setting me up for something amazing. But it seems as though because of um, the way the market is right now, the place that I thought I would be buying into is now taking competitive bid offers, which they don't normally do for um, new developments, but they are doing that for Lennar in the area that I'm looking to buy. And so trusting God about, you know, am I supposed to wait, not allowing myself to get too anxious about you know what's gonna happen next for me and really just knowing that he said this so it's going to pass so that it's all gonna work out for my good and keep moving forward and doing everything that I can do to prepare so when that door does open for me I can walk right through it I think one of the tricks of the enemy is to get us discouraged and um, you know, kind of throwing us off of our track. And if he can get us discouraged as to thinking, oh, well, God didn't say this, or he wasn't speaking to me, or, you know, getting frustrated in the fact that it's not right now, but it might be, you know, down the road. Um, in doing that, you know, then we might get distracted in our frustration and not doing the things that we should be doing to prepare for what God has in our next. And right now I know for me and I know for a lot of people, we are in a, what seems to be like a holding pattern um, and it's a season of preparation. So um, in regards to that, we need to be doing everything that we can be doing, um, preparing ourselves for what God has next. We don't know when that next will come tomorrow. If it'll be a month from now, three months from now, three years from now, we have no idea. But what we do know is that God has spoken this to us. And so what can we do to continue to honor him, seek him, and prepare for what it is that he's spoken over us, placed in our hearts to do, and has um, purposed us to do. And so with that, I just want to continue to admonish you to get into your prayer closet get into the word, find encouragement in the word of God in your faith community, um, whether that is through friends or church, and really seek out everything that you can um, that you know will continue to uplift your spirit because it can be 
tiring. Um, you know, the Bible says not to get weary and well doing, and that is more than just, um, being a good person and doing the right thing. Right. Um, not allowing the devil to get us tired in our well doing, which is preparing for what God has in our next season, taking quiet time, taking a step back so that you can look over you know the plans that you have maybe reevaluating that and saying god i've done x y and z what is it you would have for me to do now and it could be nothing but just to trust him and sometimes that can be a little you know like okay well how long am i going to be in this holding pattern but the thing is is that we know that all things are working out for our good and so in that you know, if it's listening to worship music that will help encourage, lift our spirits or whatever it is you need to do, meditation, work out, surround yourself with like-minded people who will speak life into you, who will empower you, who will encourage you to so keep taking each day, one day at a time, um, to not think too far into the future, right? I've heard it said, you know, when you're too forward thinking that it brings on anxiety. And that used to be a huge, huge problem for me because I would get really, really overwhelmed with not meeting what I felt I needed to meet, like an expectation or um, something that I said I was going to do. And really, I found it was more about like people looking at me and not really caring about you know where god is saying to go with whatever that was but caring more so about what people had to say and so i had to learn over time to let that go and so um that's something i want to admonish you in even if it is just praying for the peace of mind in the season that you might be waiting and preparing for what God has next and the next door to open, whatever that might be, whenever it may be. It could be a job that you're waiting for. In my instance, it would could be a new house. It could be your spouse. I'm still waiting on uh, <laughs> Mr. Right too. Um, but you know, it's really something that we have to fully turn over to the Lord. And um, through prayer, through praise and worship, asking God to speak to you. And sometimes people ask for signs and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Sometimes we need a little confirmation that we are doing the right thing, that we are on the right track. And God will send those people to you to confirm those things. God knows what we need as individuals. And so if that is something that you are like, hey, you know, like, I think I'm doing the right thing. I I feel like I've prayed and I've received confirmation in that regard, but it would be nice to have, you know, someone in the physical realm to confirm, you know, you might receive a prophetic word and that might be what you need to keep you on track. Um, so, you know, God knows what it is that we need. And I just encourage you to, when you submit these things to God in prayer, to like the bible says let your requests be made known to him if it's a sign of confirmation if it's um you know making connections with the right people that will you know maybe help give you the next tools or resources that you need for whatever it is god will do it for you and i just um want to encourage you today that we are in a moment in time where it's really, really important as believers that we learn to discern the seasons. And as we discern the seasons, we grow closer to God. And as we grow closer to God, then we learn when he is speaking to us, when he is saying to go, when he is telling us to wait, or maybe not right now, when he is wanting us to pour into somebody else in order to receive whatever it is in our next. So, I pray that you are encouraged today and do not lose heart and um, keep believing what God has told you, what God has placed on your heart, what God has spoken over you. 
through prophetic word, know that it will all come to pass and that everything is working out for your good. And I pray that you are blessed as we transition here into um, the next few months of the first quarter. Oh my God, it's we're in March already. It's going by so fast. Um, but I just pray that you are blessed and are not discouraged um, as you continue to move forward in whatever it is you believe God is calling you to do. And I'm with you. I'm praying for you. Let me know in the comments what you're believing God for. I can, um, you know, submit those up in my prayer time as well. So I love you. If you haven't uh, followed along, hit the subscribe button, like, and um, we'll be in touch soon. All right. God bless. Take care.